Now in the last video we looked at setting up the login screen and the registration screen and then we also implemented um, we connected to the database so those fe those two features are working perfectly now the next thing to do is we need um, let me quickly log in oh right um so i removed everything from the database i forgot to mention that so we no longer have any user so let me grab the url of my image right so um I'm going to register a bunch of users, so I'm going to pause this video and come back once I've registered a lot of users. Alright, so I went ahead and created a couple of um, accounts. Well, accounts that offer different services and then I created one called consumer. So this user does not offer any service. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with this user. And right now we're only seeing the mock data. So we need to see all data from the database. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me refresh this. So this is a uh, MongoDB. Remember I told you earlier on the first video that you should create an account here. So once you create an account, you will have collections, which is basically your databases. And then um, here is this database here called ServiceDB. Just want to see the list of users that I have here. right so we got a bunch of users um then we've got this flag here is service provider true this one is service provider is false so we need to go to the back end and create an endpoint that will return all service providers so we'll use this tag here so i'm gonna go ahead and open the server gonna make this a bit bigger and under user routes I'm going to modify this one so remember we've got this get um, routes which returns every user I'm gonna modify it to this I want to get every user where is service provider is equals to true right and so then I'm gonna save and stop the server and then restart again right it's running so um, let me copy this URL so if I make a get request to forward slash users, I'm going to hit that endpoint that I just edited right now. So I want to uh, make a get request in this page here, tab one. Open the app. And then when the app loads for the first time, it's going to check if the user is logged in. If the user is not logged in, the user is going to get redirected to the login page. Else, I want to make that API request. So meaning that the user is logged in. So I'm going to have to bring in the HTTP client. 
So private. Private HTTP. And great. And then let me just add um, sir service providers. Cool. So I'm going to say this dot HTTP dot get. And I'm going to paste that URL. And then I'm going to subscribe and get a response if everything goes well. And then if there's an error, I'm just going to console log it. And for now, let us just console log the response. So if everything goes well, this block of code is going to get run, the one under response and risk being the data that comes back from the server. So we're going to console log risk. Let me go to the console, save. Let's wait for it to reload. And we are getting a bunch of users. As you can see, all of them are service providers. Service provider is true. Service provider is true for this one. True and true. Cool. Right, so we need to display these users here now. So to do that, I'm gonna come back to the um, HTML file and then instead of uh, not this HTML this one I'm gonna keep one iron item and then I'm gonna delete every iron item here and I'm gonna loop I'm gonna loop through these users to create one iron item. So each iron item will represent one user. So here we've got five users. So that means we got, we're gonna have five iron items. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna check if service providers is available, has been initialized. So I'm gonna copy service providers, come back to tab one, and I'm going to say NGF service providers, right? And then if we have service providers, then we will be able to loop through it. So I'm going to say NG4. Now we are looping. NG4. That's provider. So I'm just giving... This is just a variable of service providers. And then instead of hard coding the image, we are gonna get it from the provider. So the image is under pick. So I'm gonna... Sorry about that. So we need um, pick here. Sorry, we need provider dot pick. Provider dot pick. And then for the name, we need the the first name and last name. So we need um, provider. Sorry. Dot first name. Why do I have an H3 here? And then we need a provider dot last name. Right, so it's first name and last name. 
and we need provider of bio here and then we need provider dot service right here let's go ahead and save this and let's see what happens so it's still loading oh okay so we need to assign provided to the response so we we'll come back here and say this dot service provider service providers is equal to the response and let's save see what happens and now we are getting the service providers here so now we need uh, to filter. So if I come here and select chef, I only need to see this here. And if I go to tens, I only want to see tens, right? So how are we going to do this? <clears throat> right, so... um the first thing that we can do is this um yeah let's come back here let's have another variable original service providers right and then we're going to do the same thing here this dot original service providers is equal to res and you'll see what why i'm doing this in a sec so right so we want to do this now remember service provider has service and this is the service here so we want to say this dot service providers is equals to this dot service providers dot filter right and we are getting a service provider one service provider here I'm just gonna call this service prov and then I want to say return this dot service prov no 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 wanna return service prov dot service is equal to this which is selected service this dot selected service right so let's go ahead and save and if this works i'm gonna go ahead and explain what i did in a sec here so let me change to uh tens we're getting tens only let me try changing to bouncers and see if we'll get anything we don't have bouncers let me see chef so you see now we're not getting anything. <laughs> so if I go back to tens, so we basically lost the data. So this is why we need this here, original service provider. So before you do anything, you need to set the service providers. Uh, you need to make service providers equal to the original providers, right? So let's say this dot service providers is equal to this dot original service providers so that the data is never lost. So whenever we change, we set the service provider to 
everyone who is a service provider and then we filter so before we filter we make sure that we've got every service provider in this list here so let's try that again let us search for deco getting deco turns now we're getting turns again so it's working perfectly now if we get deco again you see it's working fine now we don't have bouncers sound i've got one sound yeah so that's all that i wanted to do in this video and this is the last video if you really liked uh this tutorial uh let me know in the comment section and maybe i will make another video like um a well-structured one i'll show you best practices and we will talk about services and yeah so for now just make sure that you hit the subscribe button hit the like button and don't forget to share this video thanks